You see, the fact that you are eating today doesn't mean you have the right thing that God has prepared for you. Uh, the fact that things are working for you today doesn't mean that all is well. For all you know, there is a fruit of the land 2021 that God has prepared for his children. There is a fruit of 2021 that God has been planned for you. There is a purpose for 2021. There is a plan for 2021. There is a dream for 2021. There is a model that God wants us to come to. And until we are able to drop the old, we can never attain that God has prepared for us next year. I came to tell somebody that your Canaan experience is about to begin this year. Your Canaan testimony is about to launch itself this year. Your Canaan reward is about to manifest itself this year. You have entered a new year with a new mindset, with a new thought, with a new pattern, with a new idea. And this year, that dream shall come to pass. This year, that purpose shall come to pass. This year, that miracles shall come to pass. This year, that prayer shall be answered. This year, you will have the substance by which you cried out to God for. I don't know how last year was for you. I don't know the things you struggled with last year. But because you have crossed over, because you have come this far, there is a new fruit of the land that God wants to give his children. And this week I pray the heavens will release it for you. Uh, you didn't hear me. I pray that the heavens will give it to you. The heavens will give you that miracle. It will give you that testimony. It will give you that breakthrough. I pray this week uh, the heavens will satisfy you. I pray this week uh, that that which is bound uh, to receive this year, you shall be a partaker. There is something waiting for us this year that you must have of it uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty men died on their journey. But I came to tell you, you will not die on this journey this year. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said, you will not die on this journey this year. You will not die. Your children will not die. Your your marriage will not die. Your health will not die. Your business will not die. Because some failed last year, doesn't mean we will fail. They failed because of sin. They failed because of setbacks. They failed because of the hindrances. They failed because of their limitations. But their mighty men died. But God preserved another group of people. Ah, God made us cross over because he has something for us. We didn't fall last year because there was a purpose. We didn't fall last year because there was a dream. We didn't fall last year because God loves us. His banner over us is love. He has embraced us and covered us. The Bible says we are engraved upon his palms uh, and our walls are continuously before him uh, you are alive because there is something you must do uh, you are alive because there is something awaiting you uh, you are alive because god wants to use you uh, you are alive because god loves you uh, you are alive because god has a plan for you never look back at you one day and question god and think that why has he got uh, forsaken you because of a challenge you are going through uh, he kept you alive because he knows what to do uh, how is better is the ending of a thing than the beginning uh, because because you feel that yesterday, it means the end coming is better. What lies ahead of you is greater. Your tomorrow will be brighter. You will eat a new fruit tomorrow. You will sing a new song tomorrow. You will dance a new dance tomorrow. You will praise God again tomorrow. A testimony shall come your way again. You are alive because he has a plan for you. You are alive because he has a plan for you. Your mighty men fell, but God raised another generation. Another generation is being raised in you. Another dream is being raised in you. Another purpose is being raised in you. Another plan is being raised in you. I don't know who I came to talk to this week, but I came to tell you that God has a purpose. He has a plan. He has a will. There is something good coming up. If only the reproach can fell off, you will go far. If only you can let go of the reproach, you will taste of the fruit thereof. If only you can let go of the setback. You will make what God wants you to make. You will have what God says you have. You will enjoy what God says you will enjoy. If you are the one shout, it's me.